To graph the solution to this system of inequalities, I want to start by graphing these two inequalities the same way I would if they were equations. The only difference is, is this one will be a straight line because it has the or equal to symbol in it, and this one will be a dotted line. Okay, then I'll fill in the regions after I've done that. So this one has a y-intercept of 3, and it has a slope of 4. So because the slope is 4, that means I'm supposed to rise 1, I'm sorry, rise 4 and run 1. But I can't rise 4 because I'm towards the top of this um, grid here, so what I'm going to do is rewrite this as negative 4 divided by negative 1. So I'm going to rise of negative 4 and run of negative 1, so I'll go right here. And now I'm going to connect these with a dotted line, and it's a little hard to draw this, so I'm going to do another thing. So. Okay, so that's my first one. I'm going to do the next one in green. This one is negative 2, y-intercept of negative 2, and the slope is negative 1, which means I have a rise of negative 1 and a run of positive 1, or I can do a rise of positive 1 and a run of negative 1. Okay, so um, let's rise 1 and run negative 1. So it, they intersect here. Let's go down 1, 1. Okay, so this one is a solid line. Okay, so the next thing I need to do is fill in the regions that satisfy both of these areas. So I'm going to do the first one in yellow. So anything less than that. So um, what we're doing is we're looking for all the values below it. So this would be when y is equal to 3, but I want y less than 3. So I'm going to do all this area here. So it's pretty much the area underneath the curves, or underneath the, uh, the lines. So I'm not able to shade it in too well, but I'm going to erase that shading in a minute anyways. Now I want to do this one in blue, so it's all the ones underneath this line. So what we're looking for is the area where they intersect. So if you see where it turns green, that's the area where the two intersect. So that is going to be the area of R. Oops, let me erase this too. That's going to be the area we need to shade in. Okay, so this represents the area that satisfies both of these equations. So because this one is a solid line, that means the values along that line are able to uh, do work for this inequalities, but the values along this line do not because it was, an, um, it was not an or equal to, it was just a less than. 